Hello everyone. Listen, I have a 283 Chevrolet engine that I'm beginning to be a little bit concerned about because I noticed that years ago you used to be able to find them left and right, but now they are becoming a high demand. And I had one sitting outside. And uh, my wife has gotten on me and I'm a little bit concerned about it. So I want to go and pick it up. And I hope it's still there. I wonder if I need to use my engine oils. Do I want to take this down the road? Uh, I think I'll leave it. I think I can get on the trailer without it. This, this is my 400 Pontiac engine. And they are very hard to come by. So, and that's going into my GTO. I have some real nice plans for it. Oh yeah, there she is. Now I wait a fine time to come out here to get this motor. I should have came out here way back in January. Uh, how can I get this motor out? Well, my main concern is snakes. So I'm gonna hook on to it and see if I can drag it out with my truck. Good doggy, good doggy. <laughs> okay, the first thing I wanna do, I wanna remove these tires. Let me see how I'm gonna hook this up. I think I'm gonna hook it up from the tail end. This is a manual three-speed transmission. It came out of a 64 Impala that I have here in the garage. But uh, the guy that I got the car from, and I pulled his engine out, he said the reason why he stopped driving it is because it started smoking. I don't know if it's valve seals or what. Hey, someone tell me, is this poison ivy? I wouldn't know. I'm not allergic to it. But if it is, I know someone is saying I am crazy for doing this in the middle of poison ivy. But uh, thank God I'm not allergic to it. And therefore, by me not being allergic, I don't know any better. Let's see here. I think I can be able to do it.
we got to build our idea. I decided to take a different approach. I'm going to hook up my come along. I'm glad I bought it, bought it with me, and and I can balance it back here, and actually pull it back here at the same time, and just at the same time go ahead and have it to be loaded onto my trailer. Hey ladies, gentlemen, when the last time you seen a tire like this? Road Runner Belted G70-14. That's the tire that came off my 69 Mustang Fastback when I was in high school. I wish I would have kept the car. Got her we got her up here she's tied down listen that was a that was fun <laughs> but uh i noticed no snakes got lucky on that anytime when i go out in the woods to get something that i may have forgotten or i want to get for the first time i bring a garden hose so don't forget a garden hose because of snakes but uh i have noticed that there are bees flying around here so i'm going to go by the car wash so if you see me running out the car wash it's because I'm running from bees.
I want to bring this home. <laughs> Let's see what we have. What I did was I put some rags here because I'm not sure what's inside of here, so I don't want to crawl them out. So hopefully, if there's anything inside, it just died. So I sprayed all kind of chemical spray inside, and I just stuffed it with rags and just hopefully it just died out. Okay, well, listen, we finally got her, got her here, and I feel much better. Listen, if you have an engine and you plan on rebuilding it one day. Don't do like I did and let it sit outside and let the weather get to it. At least put a tarp or something over it and uh, or at least put it in a garage somewhere underneath the shelf. I have several engines around and that's what I did with them and I don't know how I let myself do this to this 283. But I'm going to reward her and I'm going to rebuild her but it's going to cost me more money to actually rebuild her because I didn't take care of her before prior to the rebuild. So stay, stay tuned for all the videos of the 283 along with other engines that I'm going to rebuild and thank you for hanging with me out there. Thank you for watching. We'll see you the next time.